Hello, Hello there. there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party and we've got our first trailer for The Continental from the world of John Wick, they say. So looking forward to this. We did do a reaction to John Wick Chapter 4 on our channel. Uh, and we've been waiting to see where the story was going to go in the world of John Wick. It, I mean, there's other things that are coming out too besides The Continental. We're getting the ballerina eventually. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to see what they can come up with just like in the world of John Wick because John Wick is awesome, but like all the stuff that's outside of that too is pretty cool as well. Like the, the way that they navigate, uh, these assassins i guess <laughs> they've got style and they uh they kick major ass so i want to see more characters in this world uh, i don't even know if it's a prequel a sequel or it takes place at the same time but i guess we'll find out with a taste of this trailer yeah. but let's get into the first trailer for the continental now a suit doesn't make a man King's okay book? so it's earlier it's a prequel yeah that's what's inside the suit that counts it's resourcefulness and perhaps an open heart well what are you waiting for well, i haven't finished my drink <laughs> pre-game this sacred institution wields power beyond your imagination winston your brother stole something from me. Oh, he's Winston. Yeah. Okay. You got melon there too. Yeah. What he took is very important to a lot of very dangerous people. Find him, because if you don't, I'll bring the weight of this whole institution down on you both. Sharon. Yeah. Show our guests the door. Dance. Yeah, so we're gonna get a Sharon and Winston like backstory. Yeah, Come in here. You're my I brother. Think so. Thank you. We have to strike first. And I need all the help I can get. How are we supposed to believe a guy in an ascot can pull this off? It's a cravat. <laughs> <laughs> it's got style. Yeah. We're gonna take on the Continental. Every freak in a hotel will be after us. Yeah, you don't oh, want to mess with them. Oh, damn. We've got the operators. operators going down. Lots of guns. Lots of oh, guns. Of course. Damn. Yeah. Back of an El Camino. This is more than vengeance. This is justice. There you go. Oh, Ooh. shit. It's so 70s, I love it. Yeah. And everything that comes with it. And away we go. <laughs> and away we go. Is this is the way uh find out like he gets the Continental? Sure, yeah, it makes sense. So I had no idea that it was actually a backstory of Winston and his rise up through uh, the network of killers and assassins and taking down the Continental. So uh, eventually we know he does eventually take over the Continental with Sharon uh, being his manager. So, um, yeah, I'm even more excited now because I just thought we were going to go into the Continental post John Wick. But no, they're going way back. I like that they're going way back too, but I also would have been curious if it was after. But maybe they don't want to do anything after just yet uh, right now. But yeah, I mean, it the Continental itself was like when you first saw it in the first John Wick, you're kind of like, oh, you've got like this hotel that, you know, caters uh, to to these hitmen and hit women. Um, and they've got certain set of rules that they have to follow during that time. It's like, OK, where did the Continental come from? And the fact that there's so many Continentals across the con uh, world, right. too, that they uh, navigate within a network, it's just. It's crazy to think, and it'll be interesting to watch this. Now, this feels like more just the central on the Continental that we know of. Right, in New obviously, York. Obviously, because, yeah, because of Winston, but, uh, and then, of course, you know, throwing out the, we need guns, lots of guns. Lots of guns. <laughs> uh, I do like the greediness of it, too, because it does have that 70s feel. So if you're going to, 
you know, really embrace that, which the trailer looks like they're embracing that 70s aesthetic. You saw the cars, you saw the clothing, the weaponry. Uh, so I'm excited to dive into that because there is something about 70s film and 70s movies that's incredibly gritty. Uh, so I want to see that translate over here. Uh, but we, you know, obviously are going to have some more updated oneers and uh, gun fu when it comes to the, the the gun combat that you didn't see back in the 70s as much, more so recently. Uh, so yeah. you're going to combine those two worlds, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's just a matter of if we're going to cover it on the channel or not. So. Yeah, it's curious that it's on Peacock. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm curious, just I'm more so of like, the writers and the actors and the directors and everything that are towards this, because uh, I mean, there are certain things that are on Peacock that people have really enjoyed. I just yeah. haven't really go, di dived deep into the Peacock originals yet. Yeah. Uh, we watched the office. Yeah. That's pretty much what we use Peacock for. And then uh, the occasional uh, WWE wrestling. Yeah. Whenever um, there's like a pay-per-view or right, something, it's but, pretty handy. <laughs> but other than that, but everybody so far has been saying like some of the, the Peacock originals have been, have been pretty good, like Poker Face. Twisted Metal, uh, Twisted people Man are saying, been... is is fun yeah. uh, once it gets going, but we right. haven't seen it yet. So. so if you want us to do reactions to The Continental uh, and you checked out our John Wick Chapter 4 reaction, let us know. Sound off in the comments below. Obviously, if you're very vocal about it, uh, we'll be Maybe you know we'll more, it, more willing to do it. Or it'll just be something it. that we'll watch on our own. It could be, but uh, at the same time, the action, the, the sequences... Uh, the fighting, like that stuff that does get pretty heavy reaction. So um, if you watch a John Wick chapter four, man, it was hard to edit just because it was so much back to back to back. Yeah, but how bloody will it be on Peacock? I don't know because I heard Twisted Metal's pretty brutal. Okay. But if it's in the vein of like the boys on Amazon, but on Peacock, I'd be more willing to check it out. Yeah. So if they go for it, uh, go but then for again, it. <laughs> then again, John Wick isn't that bloody That's in true. terms of gore. That's very true. You know, there's a lot of headshots, um, but it's more stylistically done That's versus true. over the top yeah. gore. So <laughs> it may fit right in with what they're doing on Peacock. Mm -hmm. So excited to see what they have in store for us with the Continental. What did you guys think of the John Wick series? Which one of the John Wick chapters is your favorite? Sound off down in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord. All the social networking. Jin joins, you know where they are kick into the party fuel the party keep the party going on our patreon make sure you stay tuned for our reaction to spider-man across the spider-verse currently editing it right now should be on the channel soon but thanks so much and as always now it's time to say goodbye this party is over bye, bye. did you just do like an alfalfa i sure did <laughs>